Tomorrow I'll wake up around 2 a.m. and uh, head into our launch and landing control, which is on the north base of uh, uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base. Um, and then we'll, we'll log into our consoles and start the, the countdown at T minus eight hours. I've been working on this, uh, this particular mission for over six years now, so we're excited to see the, the launch tomorrow. On January 14, 2017, the teams of Iridium, Talus Alenia Space, and Orbital ATK gather to watch the launch of the first 10 satellites of the new Iridium Next constellation to be launched by SpaceX. tough this morning because when I turned my cell phone on, you know, I saw a message from uh, Jesse saying that there is a head for the launch uh, and some issue with the, the helium uh, link to the, to the second stage. On our side, we had to turn off all the satellites and to wait for the repair and to return them on at the, at the last minute, almost the last minute. But uh, everything is, is there, satellites are in good shape and uh, waiting for the launch in 15 minutes now. This is a historic day for us, as much as it is for SpaceX. This is our start to flight, and uh, we are going to be doing this many times, so we got to get it right the first time, though, and uh, six more uh, or more after this. Uh, yes, it's eight, but we haven't announced that yet. <laughs> You're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket carrying 10 Iridium Next satellites preparing for liftoff in just about 20 minutes from now. Today's launch not only marks our return to flight following our September 1st mishap last year, but it also represents the first of seven launches we're performing for Iridium to carry their next constellation of communication satellites into orbit. At 10 o'clock precisely, the countdown begins. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Lift off, about the nine. After two minutes, the separation between the two stages of the rocket is initiated. I am ecstatic. <laughs> I am, my heart rate is so high right now, you can't believe. Um, I didn't know what to expect about all this. It's really, really exciting um, to see your satellites go into space on such a beautiful day and to see that light and to see it lift off the pad and to know that they're on their way. I am, I am so happy. Eight minutes after takeoff, the first stage of the rocket lands on the drone ship called Just Read the Instructions, located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. confident that we were prepared, so had done everything we could, but then to see that beautiful rocket climb into space with our satellites on it, it was glorious. 53 minutes after the launch, Mission Control confirms that the second stage of the rocket has successfully entered orbit. Looks like we've got a, a good orbit for putting the second stage into. This will now initiate the beginning of a lengthy sequence.
One hour after the launch, the control center announces that the first satellites have successfully separated from the dispenser. Was sent and we've got a disconnect indicated, which means that the first of the 10 Iridium satellites should have successfully deployed off of the dispenser stack from the second stage. The satellite was supposed to be separated, but we did not know. We had no network, nothing, so it was a lot of pressure. But now we know that they are separated. Uh, we'll know in a few minutes if they are OK or not. At one hour and five minutes after the launch, still no news of the deployment of the last five satellites. The tension is at its peak. We have eight launches to, to do, and, but it's no good if we don't have the first one. Okay, on the webcast, we're T plus one hour, 17 minutes and 54 seconds. And we've got good news. We've just established contact over our next ground station. And what we've got is successful deployment indicated of all 10 Iridium satellites from the Falcon 9 second stage. After one hour and 17 minutes of waiting, the news finally comes. Mission Control confirms that the 10 Iridium Next satellites have been successfully deployed and activated. All our 10 children are in the sky. So we wait confirmation that they work, but uh, I think it's a success. I'm the father of four children, and I feel like this is just like that kind of experience, the most thrilling, uh, one of the most thrilling experiences of my life. Uh, and this is a momentous occasion for Iridium and for Talus, and we're just absolutely delighted. We were told with the first Iridium Constellation that it couldn't be done. And I like to think of today's event proving it could be done twice. I became quite emotional watching this happen uh, because it means that the legacy of Iridium lives on. The benefits to society will continue to occur in a much broader and greater fashion than they have in the past even. So it was just a wonderful day. I have to be honest, when it came down to a couple minutes before the flight, I was, you mean it's ready? We're really going to do this? And we've been waiting a long time, really, for this launch. Uh, it's finally off, and the satellites are in space, and that means we can really start the replacement program for Iridium next. Iridium lives, yeah! Yeah, so it's a quite complicated process to replace the largest satellite constellation in the world. And you have to replace it satellite by satellite and not miss a beat. Uh, it's never been done before. 